Hello everyone, it's Vicky here today designing for Pink Fresh Studio and I'm using the beautiful Spring Vibes collection which is one of the recent collections from Pink Fresh and I'm wanting to use for my background these two papers with grey shades in, in them. One is a floral and the other one is just a polka dot and I just want to create a little edge down the side of my page uh, which I'm going to put the photos next to. So the floral paper has gone flat to my page and then this paper with the dots is going to be ripped down the edge and then placed over the top. And I have some yellow pom-pom ribbon in my stash and I'm just going to tuck that underneath the spotted paper like that just to add a little bit of interest to it. So... I'm going to stick my papers down because I know that this is what I want on my background. And I haven't stuck down that um, the polka dot paper, I haven't put any tape to the uh, torn edge because I want to tuck something under there. So I didn't want to that to get in the way. So I decided I want my edge to be on the right hand side rather than the left. And I'm going to use this cut off of paper to put under there just as a little, um, I guess like just a little peek through, a little extra bit of colour through there. You can't see it particularly well on the final layout, but there is just a bit of colour sticking out and I just like how that looks. So I'm also going to put this pom pom in there, as I said, and I think... I think that that looks really cute there and there's a really bold yellow in this collection and it goes really nicely with it and that's sort of where I'm going to put my photos and then I decide that as she's messing about in sunglasses I'm going to obviously cut some of these glasses out of the page to use on my layout and so I cut out three pairs of these and I just skip through that so you don't need to watch me do it they're pretty simple to cut out pretty simple shapes and I'm going to um, put those around my photo in just a second. But first of all I'm going to pick out some florals and I want to put those on my page. Uh, I do love a floral and pink fresh florals are always so so pretty. So here we go I'm just picking a few out. I'm not really placing them properly at the moment I'm just choosing a few that might go there and then sort of moving the bits around so I can sort of see how it might look. I think about using a frame here. I don't use this one, but I do come back to a frame in just a minute. I decide that I'm going to stick this down because I know this is going to stay like this. So I want it to just get stuck to the page so that I can... Um, get on with sticking other things down. So I put the, the pom-pom ribbon there. Um, I'm going to just put some glue in, which will hold it in place. And it just tucks in and I sort, sort of tuck it along the um, shape of the tear, torn edge that I did. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to have a look at backing my photos. So I'm just going to back those with the pale pink and white paper. I just, I don't want it to stick out too much, but I just wanted to add a bit of an extra edge around the photos. Um, and I tear one, one edge so that it gives a bit of extra texture to the page. There we go. Pink fresh papers actually tear very nicely. They tend to tear in a nice straight line. So um, that's quite helpful for me. <laughs> I do like to have some tearing in my pages. Okay, so just playing again with how these will go onto the page. And I prefer that top photo there because there's a little bit at the edge which I just cover with those glasses in the corner, I mean. So that works pretty well. Okay, now I'm moving on here to 
What am I moving on to? <laughs> ah, here we go. So I'm using these journaling pieces and I decide that I want to introduce some blue to my layout because the alpha that comes with this, the big alpha is blue and I wanted to use that. So I want to bring some blue in and I decide to use this one here with the flap folded backwards so that I can see the blue and the pink. And I also pick out some 3D stickers. Um, this one says, love this. And I do use another one, the best of times, but I don't stick that down just yet. You'll see what I do with that in a moment. <clears throat> I'm going to start to stick down my photos, I think, because I know that those are gonna go there and I don't want them moving around too much more. Here we go. So just, just so that I can start to really properly build it up, it's best to have it stuck down because otherwise I'll do too much and then I'll forget where things go and I'll end up not being happy with my final placements because I've had to move things. So um, yeah, that's why I'm sticking that now. <clears throat> I'm also putting some foam onto the photos, sorry, the glasses, because they're going to sit on top of the photos and um, otherwise they wouldn't be able to stick to the page. So um, I'm just adding the foam, the bottom of the bottom ones and at the top of the top ones, if that makes sense. And then just on the one lens of the middle ones. I'm still arranging my florals at the moment. I'm going to stick things down as I go from now on. Okay. There we go. So those bits are down and then I'm going to concentrate on this side. And what I want to do is punch a hole in there so that I can put some string and I have just a piece of plain natural colored string, which I'm going to put in there in a moment. There we go. So I'm going to put it through as if it's a tag string and then I'm going to tie a bow in it so that it just adds that little bit of interest there. I like how that looks. <clears throat> I've also got this um, cord here, which I'm going to use on the layout. It's, I say cord, it's like a, a waxed cotton thread. So I think I want to put it just here with my other 3D sticker on top, but what I realize is I've wound it too tightly. So I have to do that again, otherwise no one's gonna see it. <laughs> There we go. So that works better. I put that right in the center and that now looks like it's wrapped around that sticker. And I just put the um, the loose end off and I stuck it down so that it would stay in that position. Okay, and now I'm going to put some florals around my little cluster here. Just to add a bit of interest to that. And a frame. I want to use this frame up here. Um, so I just use half of the frame and I think about using the other half but I don't use that in the end so um, that one just goes back for another time. And I'm going to stick down this little cluster now and use some foam for some of the pieces. Here we go, stick that underneath. Got a few little leaves there, I'm just gonna stick those back on. I cut them off to tuck it under and then I put them back on in a slightly different position. I've got some chipboard flare, what that one says, you are sunshine, and then I also have one that says love you. And 
I'm going to do my title now, I think. Yep, here we go. So I'm going to call this Sunny's Fun. So Sunny's is what my husband calls sunglasses. <laughs> I guess most people call them Sunny's. But, um, but I always think of it being him saying it. <laughs> And it's quite, I use the ruler to line it up. It's quite good because the, the polka dots on the page also helps. So um, I think I did move them slightly off camera because I went slightly off straight there, but, um, but it's all good now. So by the time you see the final image, it will all be perfectly straight. <laughs> I'm going to put those and then I pull out my um, gems and I'm going to put those onto the page. So I'm going to put three of those yellow ones just there to pull the yellow over from the left. And then I'm going to use the enamel dots and put three blue ones up there at the top. And that just finishes, finishes it off there. That's it. There's the final layout. I hope this has given you some inspiration. Um, Spring Vibes is a beautiful collection and I'm sure that um, if you have it, you love it. If not, you need to get it in your life. Um, you'll see some close-ups here now as well. If you have any questions at all, please do ask me. I will link everything that I've used in the description below for you though. So in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. This has been Vicky for Pinkfresh Studio. Bye-bye.